Chapter 3 He said to me, Son of man, eat that which you find, eat this scroll and go, speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the scroll. He said to me, Son of man, cause your belly to eat, and fill your bowels with this scroll that I give you. Then I did eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. He said to me, Son of man, go to the house of Israel, and speak with my words to them. For you are not sent to a people of a strange speech, and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many peoples of a strange speech, and of a hard language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely if I sent you to them, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not listen to you, for they will not listen to me. For all the house of Israel are of a hard forehead, and of a stiff heart. Behold, I have made your face hard against their faces, and your forehead hard against their foreheads. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made your forehead. Don't be afraid of them, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they are a rebellious house. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak to you receive in your heart, and hear with your ears. Go to them of the captivity, to the children of your people, and speak to them, and tell them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me the voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from this place. I heard the noise of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the noise of the wheels beside them, even the noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness, in the heat of my spirit, and the hand of the Lord was strong on me. Then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Aviv, that lived by the river Kibar, and to where they lived, and I sat there overwhelmed among them seven days. It happened, at the end of seven days, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have made you a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore hear the words at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I tell the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at your hand. Yet if you warn the wicked, and he doesn't turn from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Again, when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because you have not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteous deeds which he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man, that the righteous not sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he took warning, and you have delivered your soul. The hand of the Lord was there on me, and he said to me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will talk with you there. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river Kibar, and I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and he spoke with me and said to me, Go, shut yourself within your house. But you, son of man, behold, they shall lay bands on you, and shall bind you with them, and you shall not go out among them. And I will make your tongue cleave to the roof of your mouth, that you should be mute, and you shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth, and you shall tell them, Thus says the Lord God, He who hears, let him hear, and he who forbears, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house.